morning, morning. Pressure them out, pressure them! Morning. Morning. Keep up the pressure. Keep, down, no? keep, keep up the pressure. Pressure them! Yes, yes, okay. we, we don't work for police. Police work for we. Office of the DPP is established by the Constitution to protect the rights of all and also to ensure that justice is done. What we are seeing here is a selective form of wicked political victimization. This is not the work of the DPP. This is the work of the political directorate. And so the picket here is standing in solidarity with those who are being targeted. We say that we have been vindicated on two separate occasions and you would be hard pressed to find any situation where anyone has been vindicated twice before learned magistrate and before learned high court judge. And yet they're determined to dig and dig and dig in an effort to find a way to imprison me and to imprison my colleagues. Now, Mr. Lovell, you use a term that I think a lot of people may not be quite familiar with. It's a term called dog whistle. Explain to us uh, what are the subtle messages that uh, politicians, people who are in the political directorate, make to the judiciary when they use a dog whistle? Well, you know, the term dog whistle simply means that you know who is there to do your bidding and you send a signal or a message to them in order that they can do the bidding of the political directorate. And I make no apology for saying that in my opinion, based on all the circumstances and all the facts, the DPP is acting in an unfair way. And I conclude and I assert that he is being politically directed. That is the conclusion that I draw and that is my opinion. I cannot say that the DPP has acted fairly when in my view, you look at the way that he has behaved and it would seem as though he is determined to find some way to bring a conviction, one way or another. Thank you very much, Mr. Lovell. And well, you see, it's talking about Section 20 of the Public Order Act and that you cannot take it a scheduled building. But what Section 20 speaks to is marches and meetings. This is not a march, it's not a meeting, it's a picket, and you can picket any building. And that, that is the law. There's also the issue that this is not a road. What is it? Is it a footpath? It is a road. You understand? So the, the picketers are within their rights to picket the government government building and they're doing it. Is it that um, there's some suggestion that there might be um, uh, a show of force? 
I understand that. I also spoke to the deputy. I also spoke to the commissioner of police this morning. I also spoke to the attorney general to ask them to de-escalate this, this situation because the picketers are not vacant any longer. But the police are hell-bent on moving them to the Queen Elizabeth Highway. Far removed from the place where they're picketed. And we maintain that they're not breaking the law and they're going to continue to pick it here. So we will see what happens after. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank and in terms of, of course, the Public Order Act and uh, all of the laws of Antigua and Barbuda.